Okay, so what we have here now is the Hammerlin 200, the Hammerlin Super Pro 200. As you can see, this is the, I took it apart. So this is the chassis. I removed, I removed the main tuning coil assembly. This thing is huge. I mean, it is big. So this is a tuning assembly. And underneath there, you just have all the coils for each individual uh, frequency band. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Take it apart. Clean it up. I started taking off the, the as you can see, the, the um, screws, but some of these screws are very tight and very rusty. So the first thing that I need to do is take it apart and clean it up. Look at these wires are all crusty. It's very interesting to see the the mechanics behind this. And up here, this knob is the frequency knob or the band knob. And every time you, you change that, you get this selector. Pretty cool. Can't wait to take it apart. This uh, Super Pro. 200 has been sitting in the garage in somebody's garage for over 40 years and what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this put new wire clean it up and see how it performs back here you have the There's, I had, there's still, oh, there's, these are warped and they sit on, these are, this is the dial for the frequency and the band spread. And they look pretty, pretty crusty too. So I'm not too happy about this. I'm not sure how this is going to churn out. Because this has to be perfectly straight because you, this sits on, on a tuning knob down here and it spins this around and it makes the capacitor the tuning co co condenser move so this is crooked it doesn't sit properly on the tuning knob and it's not going to work so all my work is going to be for nothing if I can't figure this thing out so here you go this is a monster of a tuning <laughs> assembly look at this wow this is, this is huge and it's just a tuning I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside. I'm not sure what's inside. I have an idea. Let's see what it looks like. So once again, this is going to be an ongoing project. Some of these wires are super frail. Look at this up there. You see that? Wow, look at these wires. Mm, looks like I got my job cut out. And this is where I cut the wires to be able to free, free this. Because there's some wires down here that are attached down there. See? So I'm going to go down there, so that's going to be a fun game. Look at this. Mm. I've downloaded the manual and the service guide. Hopefully I'll be able to figure this thing out. Here's the back side where you connect all your power, voltages, speaker terminal, antenna. 
I do have the power supply. And the power supply is very simple, just a couple of rectifier tubes and a transformer and a choke and a couple of capacitors and that's about it. So I'll work on that after I'm done messing with this. So once again, this is this is huge. Look at how big the condenser is. I mean, I hope you can see. That's big. That's what she said. Well, look at all the components. I mean, the tubes, the knobs. I think it takes what, twelve or fourteen tubes. I lost count. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and I will keep you all posted as progress is made. Thanks for watching. Bye.